Hello all. In this video, I will be going through how we can achieve inline editing in Angular. For this, we will be using JSON placeholder uh, default APIs, which are free, and we can use that. So this is my simple table. It will have some basic uh, columns according to your requirement. Okay. So in last column, we can have our actions. So for this, we have taken two icons. One is for edit and one is for delete. So on click of this edit icon, I will just simply convert my TD text into my editable text box. You can see I, uh, we have text box now. And same as at the same time, instead of edit and delete icon, we will have save and cancel icon. On save we can on save icon click we can hit our post or put API. And on cancel I will just convert my t, uh, text box back to my TD. Okay. So this is how it will work. So if I'm clicking on multiple rows, still I can get the same kind of structure. Okay. So let's look into code. I've just created one service. In that service, I have one function get user. So get user is nothing but uh, consuming get API from JSON placeholder type code com dot users. So let's see what it uh, what it gets. Will gives us uh, array of users which is having some properties okay so in get user function i am subscribing whatever the response we get okay then with the same array we are just inserting one more property is edit with value false okay this will be our additional property which we will be using for inline editing that based on this property value we will show text box or the labels whatever the value we have okay so let's check we'll turn on the debugger I'm refreshing my page now in get user we subscribe uh, variable instance variable we have 10 arrays okay so you can see user list this is the object which we have i'm using for loop to append my new property into existing array so after this our use particular object will have one property is edit which is having a loop false okay so this is my first step we just have to append one property Variable name can be anything is user is modify anything you might like. Okay, so now let's check HTML. This is my simple table. Okay, this is my header. After that, this is my P body where I will be using for loop to plot all my arrays. Okay, so this is talking about this my first TD. Let's focus on this. a bit okay so this is my first td which is a username so suppose i am clicking on this currently i just have the value once i click with this i have the text box okay so let's see how it does in td we have taken one div and for that div we have opened a condition with ng dot user dot is edit if it is false then we will just use the interpolation to show whatever the value it holds if is edit is true then we will be showing this text box so this is the only change we have to do okay so apart from that we have to show whatever the value it holds into that particular text box okay so for that we will be using ng model direct view and we will pass user dot name whatever the value uh, we are going to show in that td we will just pass it to the text box okay so in action we get the text box along with the value whatever value it holds okay same as it like everything username we pass that username to here okay and on the last column where initially we have edit and delete icon but once uh, i click on the edit we will have save and the cancel icon so see 
again in last day we have two di different divs one is for is edit as a false and one is for is edit as a true in is it when is edit property is false we will have edit and a delete icon you can see trash and a pencil square okay in next div we will have save icon with circle check and far times to close that okay so on close up on close I'm just converting the uh, again changing the value of data dot is edit as false. So what is data? Data I am sending a uh, particular instance variable from the for loop along with the function close in user. User is my instance variable from my for loop. Okay. So same as it is in save also. In save company, what are the function name? You can send the actual data. You will get the actual data here, updated data, and here you can send. Uh, again, you can use your post API or put API based on your requirement and you will have that record inserted. Okay. So you can see here. And click of this, I'm just changing that variable value as a false. So you can see data dot is edit is equal to false. Okay. So for your instance, now our second objective. On click of this, I will need updated data, right? So here I'm pressing one one two two. And click of this now in parameter you can say name as one one user name so updated data i have got then i can consume my put api here okay so this is first so with this much of code we can achieve inline editing okay next is with inline editing it is little bit different for validation applied validation on username consider i am removing this so we can have this class okay so i am getting how i am getting this this is my text box for the username okay. so i am using basic html5 validations i have just applied required attribute okay after that once i am once i have applied required attribute so you can see what change we have with that so you can see here Currently, we have one class appended at ng invalid. Okay, because we have applied required attribute, so it will have some classes. Okay, once I am providing this value, you can see class change ng valued means it is valid now. So I have just created one class ng invalid providing border as a red. Okay, it is pretty simple. So you can see. So on, uh, consider like if you want to disable this icon unless all the values are there you can write your own function just to disable that with comparing all the values which we get so same way you can achieve validations in inline table okay and cancel of that we are just uh, changing is edit value by default to false okay so we get the normal value so that's it with the inline table editing thank you